My name is Dr. Rose Misati. I'm a public health specialist, behavior change expert, certified life coach, relationships counselor, and parenting coach. I'm a director of Effective Parenting Company Limited. Uh, we help people deal with their past hurt so that they can learn to manage their feelings, handle conflict, clarify life goals as they lead so that they can lead effective lives as they enjoy fulfilling relationships. So can trauma be handed down? Yes, a significant body of research shows that trauma can be passed from generation to generation. This is because when somebody has gone through trauma, it leaves a genetic mark on the DNA. Those are big terms. And so this affects the way the genes are expressed. So in short, what I'm saying is that trauma leaves a genetic mark, okay? Especially chronic, complicated trauma. And so this is likely to be, it's actually passed from generation to generation. And this is what intergenerational trauma is all about. I think this is critically important, particularly to those of us who are parents or those who aim to be parents. We continue staying in a chronically stressful environment. Once this happens, we alter our genes, we pass it to our children. We have children who are abusers or who are abused. And it goes on and people will say, you know, in my family, my grandfather was like this, my father was like this, and I'm also like this. So they say, this is our culture. No, it's not culture. It's actually a trauma response that has been passed as intergenerational dysfunction. So it takes somebody stepping aside and they break that pattern. Otherwise, without that, it will be passed down from one generation to the next. In case you notice that you need help, uh, you may have gone through a traumatic experience or as I have spoken, you feel you can identify with some of the things. Leave the comment below, we will get back to you. Please feel free to share this video to other people so that it can help. Sharing is caring. Let's have a healed community. That way we can enjoy healthy and fulfilling relationships with everybody. I normally say I'm not okay until the other person is okay. So even if you're okay and the other person is not okay, we are not okay. So please leave a comment. We will get back to you. We will be glad to be with you.